so I think I'm addicted to buying lawnmowers or fixing up one or the other. But I bought this one yesterday, 25 bucks. The motor is not that old. I guess the motor looks like it's about 10 years old. The deck looks like it's about freaking 20 years old. But it was only $25. Pretty good mower. The vacuum deck. Y'all can see it. <laughs> and the funny thing about it was, I was just took the air force cover off. The fun thing about it was, I got there, he started it up for me, and then he went inside to get some change. And I said, let me start it up myself. First pull, um, drawstring broke. So that's what I'm in the process of doing now. I already took the covers off and everything. I'm drilling out the rivets, rivets so I can get this drawstring off. I got me an old drawstring. I'm gonna put this on there. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it because at first I was thinking about I was just gonna take off this motor and um, I think I was just gonna take off this motor and put it on and just paint it. You know what I mean? I think I'll paint the handles uh, black. I might paint this green, sand down all the little stickers and whatnot. Just paint it green to make it look nice with some what's that rust oleum. But now I'm looking at this motor like this. This is not a bad motor. It's a 6.5 motor, and the motor on my house lawnmower is a um, 4.5. This is a nice ass motor. All it needs to do is get cleaned up. I don't know. Let me just fix it first. See. For those people who don't know how to rewind a um, pull cord, you um, what you do is this is the um, this turns. If you can see it, uh, I already got it turned, but see it turns, spins around, and there will be some tension on the direction it's supposed to turn. So basically you wind it all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And once you get it wound almost to the point where it can't wind no more, go ahead. I, what I do is I stick a screwdriver in there just to hold it in place. And then you go ahead and um, you stick your, wind, uh, your cord in there. Once you get your cord in there, you tie a knot and then you pull it tight. And then once you let it pull the screwdriver out, it'll wind back up. It'll be good to go. Okay, so it's been a couple of months, but I'm back with this right here. Not a couple of months, a couple of weeks. <sighs> I've been going back and forth. At first I was thinking I want to take this engine off and put it on my other mower that I use for the house. That that deck. And then I was gonna repaint this deck and put that engine on here. But I'm like Instead of going through all that trouble, what I'm gonna do is just fix this mower up. So I'm gonna repaint it. Um, I'm gonna sand it on, scuff up the paint. It's pretty much scuffed up. Then that load, saw some new wheels. Get some new wheels for this bad boy. And I'm gonna paint the, the grill on the top. This bad boy is gonna look off the chain. Then, of course this handle's too low. We got this old school bent handle. But I'm gonna see if the old handle from this other more fit, fit it. And then I'm just gonna sell the other one. As much as I don't want to sell it, I needed, a, I wanted a, a mulching mower for my house. So it's a perfect mulching mower. Once you take the bag off, it's a mulcher. So, and the engine works good. So, that's what I'm doing. Today, I think I'm going to uh, prep the deck. I'm going to take the motor off and I'm prep the deck. So, let's get to it. Alright, this is the top half that we saw in that old style. It was like an um, old style lawnmower handle. So I'm trying to put this half, half on there. Alright, so it had to be something. 
Um, the handle actually fits, but these things are so rusted they won't turn, so. Plan B, bang it with a hammer till it breaks and then saw off the rest with a hacksaw. Let's go. All right, so I got that off. I'm gonna have to, I don't, I uh, might as well not even put this top piece on yet. It fits. I'm not gonna put it on yet because I still have to take this off so I have to paint the bottom. So I gotta take the wheels off. I gotta take the motor off. Then I can start prepping the, um, the actual deck. All right, I'm not gonna give it a fantastic paint job. I was thinking about painting it red, but um, if you can see over there, the bag has that green on it. So I said, maybe I should keep it yellow. But then I thought about, I don't know if y'all seen my logos and stuff. My logos are based off of a, uh, a white, green, black, and red type um, pattern. So I said, you know, why don't I just make a self Lawn Surgeon mower? You know, so that's what I'm thinking of doing, painted white. The rims on the wheels are going to be green. Um, I'm going to have my logo on the side, Seth the Lawn Surgeon right there on both sides. And then I'm going to paint the top green and white. Instead of having it just a black motor, paint it green and white. I like to be different. I like to be creative. So hopefully it turns out well. All right, so I got the wheels off. Got the deck cleared off. Got the motor over there. There's a the hand rack. I'm going to paint these black. I'm gonna paint these black. That part's already black. And right when I get all this apart, it's starting to rain. So, looks like I'm about to cover this stuff up. Finish it another day. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm back again. I went ahead and sanded this bad boy down. Um, you don't really got to sand all the paint off. It's just painting over anyway. But you want to get all the rusty areas. Like, see like right here? You just want to sand it down. You want to use a real fine grit uh, sandpaper. Just sand it down smooth so when you sand it, you won't have no divots. The only part I'm worried about is this. I couldn't really get this sanded down. I might get some. I think I got some stronger grit paper inside. I might get that. But I couldn't get this real sanded down. So, But if you end up spray painting it and you realize, oh, I need to sand it down some more, you can always let it dry and then re-sand it and paint over it. But I don't really care because it's just a whatever project, you know what I mean? So not like I'm selling it, I probably end up keeping this anyway. So all right, so now I'm gonna start painting it. Got my rust oleum right there and white. 